Now the last section of this module is on two things. First we will look at a forced relabeling of all files and then an automatic relabeling after having been in disabled mode. And then we will discuss why it would be wise to boot in permissive mode and how to do that. In fact, this is the serious bit I was referring to earlier. It could even be called a warning. Now we've seen that it's possible to restore context with the restore con command. This is something you usually do for single files or directories, recursively or not. However, if you want to relabel all files on your system, there's another way to do that. This can be done by using the fix files command. If you run fix files dash capital F on boot, a hidden file in the root directory called dot auto relabel will be created and it contains the option dash capital F, which means force. Then when you reboot your system, a full relabeling of your system will take place. Now there are two common reasons why a system wide relabeling may occur. The first one is that you've run in permissive mode for some time, which means that users may have labeled objects incorrectly. And if you change from permissive to enforcing, there is no automatic relabeling. So you will have to do that manually. And it's advised to do that using the fix files dash capital F on boot command and then reboot your system. The second reason is that SE Linux has been disabled for a period of time. This means that all new files that were created during being disabled, these files were created without a label whatsoever. And then when you change the config file to enforcing or permissive, during the next reboot, a full relabeling will take place. Now here's the warning, or rather the best practice. When you reboot your system, the SE Linux config file is read as part of the boot process, but this is only done when the kernel has already been loaded, of course. Now the system may run into trouble before this config file is loaded. So the best practice is to add the enforcing equals zero as a kernel option when the kernel gets loaded. What Red Hat says about this is the following. Before rebooting your system for relabeling, make sure the system will boot in permissive mode. For example, by using the enforcing equals zero kernel option. This prevents the system from failing to boot in case the system contains unlabeled files that are required by systemd before relaunching the SE Linux auto relabel service. In the first demo, we will change the config file from disabled to enforcing, and then a reboot will automatically start a full relabeling and we will make sure that this is done in permissive mode by changing the kernel line before we boot. So I'm logged into the console and run get enforce to check the mode and it's disabled. So when I create a file, uh, let's call it unlabeled and then check and see that there is no label. So we open up the config file and change SE Linux from disabled to enforcing. And then I save the file, obviously, and I reboot the system. Now I can pick one of the two available kernels, but let's just stick with the top one. And to edit the line, I press uh, the E, and at the end of the kernel line, I add enforcing equals zero. Then I boot the system by typing control X. Now during the boot, it tells me that a relabel is required and could take a long time. And after the relabeling is done, it needs to boot once more. And so now it will be in enforcing mode. So we log in and run get enforce and we see it's enforcing and the file that was previously not labeled is now labeled. And that's it. The last demo will be that we change from permissive mode to enforcing and want to make sure that all labels that were changed during the permissive mode are relabeled during a reboot. I'm logged into the console again and run SE status. This tells me that the current mode is permissive and the mode in the config file is also permissive. First I make sure that there is a test file with an incorrect label. Now there are multiple ways to do that but let's just pick one that we didn't discuss before. If you copy or move a file from one domain to another, it will keep its label, even though the directory has a different label. So let's do that. First I create the test file in the etc directory. 
and I check the label and see that the context type is the etc type. Now I move the file to the var directory. And then I check the label again and see that it still has the etc label. Now I could use restore con to fix this, but if the system ran in permissive mode for a long time, many files could be incorrectly labeled. So we want to run a full relabeling again. And this is what we'll do. We'll first change the config file. Then we run fix files. Then we reboot in permissive mode by adding enforcing equals zero to the kernel. And after that, we will check the mode and check the label of the test file. So I'm logged into the console and I change the config file to set permissive to enforcing using the sed command. Then I run fix files dash capital F on boot and of course I check the dot auto relabel file and see that the dash capital F is the only entry in it. And then I reboot and edit the kernel line to set se Linux to permissive. This will relabel during the first reboot and then it needs a second reboot And after that's done, we check the mode and see it's enforcing. And of course, the test file, which is now in slash var, has the correct context type. 